This is the showroom of Heimer in Bad Balze in southern Germany. We have here uh, one of my, I'd say favourite vans that they do, is the B-Class. That's a Heimer B-Class, it's not a US B-Class. This is the, the Modern Comfort Semi-Integrated 600 T600, 719 centimetres long, 229 width, 296 in height. And uh, ready to go. 3,143, so it's going to give you approximately 500 uh, kilos of payload. That's from empty, approximately, approximately, because ready to go doesn't really mean a great uh, deal, I think. Uh, there must be a way of calculating it, but uh, um, what they mean by ready to go, two people, a bit of water and a bit of fuel. Now, water and fuel always weigh the same, but uh, I have noticed that people tend not to. Right, so we've got two single beds, which have been joined, and uh, so we are lucky enough to see it joined, and has uh, been joined by putting this, this thing here down there. Maximum 80 kilos on this part here, oh ho oh, ho. Oh. So if you weigh more than 80 kilos, which isn't unusual, I've gone over 80 kilos. Um, so what they're suggesting from this is you've got to pull yourself up into that part of the bed. Okay, so this is one of the disadvantages of this system here. Before I actually show you this system here, I'll have a look, quick look in here. There you've got some storage. And I believe that this, this bottom bit here comes up as well. And you can actually get some more, you can get a little bit more down there. But down there, you've got your um, things related to the van, the, the infra infrastructure. There you can see this is a bit deep, you might see, so you might not be able to see. It'd be better if they had a light in here, of course. <laughs> I always find that when the light's on, you can see more. Right, now in here, we've got hidden a. Uh, so I'm now going to try and pull out using one hand. So that goes up there like that. And now you put yourself in there. Fortunately, I am under 80 kilos. About 10 kilos under 80 kilos, so I can do it. Right, okay. So I've just sort of got myself in bed. Well, I'd say it's doable, but I would question if whether or not it's a good idea having these things. A good job to actually put 80 kilos there, though, because uh, many companies, well, in fact, it's the first time I've ever seen it written. So not many companies, every other company doesn't put that in. That's nice and deep, but if there's one thing I can't stand, other than empty foot lockers, it's wasted space in a motorhome. And what's that up there above the window? I could put one of these nets across, like, like Kippo would make, and uh, that would be good. That would be better than nothing, but. Uh, ooh. I might, above here there as well, you can see you've got this like space in between uh, the two uh, the, uh, covers for the. the uh, storage compartments. Um, I suppose that's all right for keeping your phone or something and charge it at night. Yeah, I'll put this back if I can, using one hand. Oh, wasn't that clever. Right, seeing as I've done that, we'll have a look down here, if I can. There's your water. Fresh and dirty water. Sometimes you might want to have access to your fresh water from inside. Can happen. Can't think of any reason you want to access your dirty water from inside. But, but there, there could be a reason.
Now, uh, I'll point out very deep double storage, double floor, because that is going to keep you warm and it means you can store lots of stuff. That is thanks to an innovative um, chassis from Alcor. You can see how they're made in the films I made from the Alcor plant last year, what they, they look like. And they moved all the stuff down there, such as the batteries and, uh, and everything else related to the infrastructure. And we'll see the batteries in a moment. There's your fuse box. I think it's a good idea to have your fuse box inside the van. I had a problem with my van three days ago. The fuses were inside and thanks to that I was able to uh, keep myself dry in the rain. There's the battery and look how much room there is more. Right, you could get well my lithium battery 250 you could easily get 750 amps of lithium in there. Well, the same size as mine, that is. There's a place for your shoes, if you wear them, of course. More fuses. Flat floor. All the way to the back. Door open. You've got up there, you can see how your soul is charging. Now on the Mercedes Sprinter, um, we've got this really good screen. This is on the uh, models built from 2018. And um, so, so you've got your radio and navigation, the usual sort of stuff. But uh, Mercedes in January of 2020 introduced something called the Mercedes-Benz Advanced Control, which is for motorhomes. And from up there, you can actually, for example, you're driving along, you can see how much water you've got in, in, in your tank. You can check your habitation battery, uh, see if it's charging or not. You can turn, uh, you can turn the heating on. You can do all sorts of things uh, from from there. So um, it's particularly particularly good, I think. Oh, there's your television. That's great. I mean, if when you've had a if you had a bit too much to drink, you're sort of lying down, and yeah, you can use the remote control, and you won't even have to sit up uh, to watch the television. I can't show it to you sideways because I've got a gimbal and that won't allow me to do it. And up here we've got a bit more storage. Oh, well, same, these are sort of things I like that. That's useful. Does that tell you the price? 89925 I can't remember saying that. enormous garage you take 350 kilos apparently I've got a friend he reckons it's not true he said he'd give me a demonstration one day hopefully not in my van not that I've got one of these so MCT 600, modern comfort. This that's a special model, Sonder model. Let's have a look at this other one. This is uh, 550, seven meters long, 229, 296 in height. Ready to go 3,104. So that's roughly, roughly, roughly 600. Let's say kilos of payload. And when I said at 500, the last one I was being perhaps a bit little uh, ungenerous. I should have I should have offered more, 550 or something like that. 
I must have this one. That's for making an extra bird up front. This has got a bit of storage down here under the bed. Steps up, one with a box. Same flat floor, same front. Nineteen one thousand seven hundred and twenty. Here's another Mercedes, semi integrated BMC T five eighty. This one's got a German layout in the back, seven meters by 229 by 298. I won't see how the television works in this. Uh, that's supposed to sort of push us the television backwards and forwards. Mind you, it doesn't necessarily work as uh, we couldn't see there. There you've got storage under the beds. There's the bit. That will take a maximum of 80 kilos. I really can't see that getting broken easily. I'm oh, sorry, went the wrong way. Not much storage here clothes, but there will be down here, a bit more here. Right, so uh, I'll try and film as many barns as I can in the time I'll be here. Um, don't know quite how long I'm going to be here yet, but uh, I'll do my best to film what I can. There was a number of requests from the trade fair, uh, which I mightn't have uh, uh, fulfilled uh, from this CMT, uh, but I'm, I'll, I'll make up for it now and so I'll get everything up online eventually, although it does take me some time. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll uh, subscribe and if you get any benefit, uh, do um, like it and uh, consider supporting me on Patreon.